Face Mars, and here we have a classic mad science update. Can a medieval tapestry help find Planet 9? What these scientists are doing is they're looking at old documents and uh, tapestries and paintings, what have you, and search for clues about the mysterious Planet 9, which so far nobody has proven exists. Of course, Pluto used to be Planet 9, but they defrocked it. They thrown it whatever. Saying it's too small to be a planet. Believed to be up to 10 times the mass of the Earth and with an orbital period of up to 20,000 years, this enigmatic world has been a subject of intense debate ever since researchers at the California Institute of Technology first revealed that its existence might actually be very real possibility. What a mouthful. This latest study, which is being conducted by medievalist Marilina Cesario and astronomer Pedro Lacerda at Queen's University, Belfast, Northern Ireland, aims to use medieval tapestries and documents to help learn more about the facts the objects visible in the sky hundreds of years ago. Uh, while you people are at it, you want to take a look at the uh, wood carving from the Battle of Nuremberg. It was in the uh, 1500s. With all these objects in the sky, this is why I mention it. At any rate, I don't want to change the subject, but we have a wealth of historical records of comments in Old English, Old Irish, Latin, and Russian, which have been overlooked for a long time, so it's Cesario. Early medieval people were fascinated by the heavens as much as we are today. I don't think they looked at them quite the way we do today. The information obtained from tapestries can help predict where a planet they might be. We can take the orbits of comets currently known and use a computer to calculate the times for so these comets will be visible in the skies during the Middle Ages, said Lacerda. Precise times depend on whether our computer simulations include Planet 9. So, in simple terms, we can use medieval comet sightings to check which computer simulations work the best ones that include Planet 9 or the ones that do not. I see what they're saying. <laughs> because, you know, how can you expect the accuracy of where these comets were you know, way back then from something like this? This is a question I'm asking. And how can it be certain of the accuracy of dates. From what I understand, there used to be a long, long time ago, centuries ago, there used to be a problem with dates, and you didn't know exactly. It got off track. See, the days were too short, they were too long, or I don't know. I've heard about that, I've never researched it. So that can be a stumbling block here. Okay, you scientists, well, get a mad science update from me. I don't really care if you do this stuff. I'm okay with it as long as you don't bother me with it. As long as the link coming out of my pocket. Have fun. Artifacts of Mars. <laughs>